having a feel of what a solo exhibition is. Because if you're an artist and you've been hosting, if you're an artist and you've been hosting group exhibition and, and you've never host a solo exhibition, you don't actually know what your paintings are worth. Of. So with this, this is what we're trying to do in it. Here lies the case. Today is the second, the third exhibition with the third artist. Actually, the first artist was me, and it happened like magic. Uh, Robert Kome is one artist that his paintings talks a lot. And what inspires him most of times is colors, and I think he didn't tell me about Actually, I know because that is maybe mothers or women. Because most of his paintings, not even the, the one that they they come inside the ones video. actually describe the way he understands concerning women, uh, things like that. And one thing about him also is that he's kind of introvert, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't bring up what is going on within him in terms of being an artist. So him like this, he has crazy ideas in his head. And whether we hosting an exhibition, yes or no, he's always going to show whatever he needs to do to make things happen. And I'm really happy when we told to him that he should come for us to host an exhibition. He was ready to come on board for us to do this, and it's very great. Even though people are not here as we expected, but this is very nice. At least the paintings are going to be here for one month. And every Friday and Saturday, from 3 o'clock to 7, 8, now, he's going to be here to assist anybody who wants to have a meaning of the paintings and things like that. So Nibu Josie Studios, collaboration with Native Bar, uh, Lincoln Graphics and Black Origin. We are the reasons why this thing is taking place. And Nibu Josie Studios is my studio where I actually work. But I am my, I am Nibu Josie, which is my art signature. And we also have a guest here, which we would like him to say is that he is also an artist. We, we take so many things from him in terms of inspiration. And we would like him to be on board for him to say something as well. Thank you, tell your welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Uh, I think it's um, uh, a privilege to be here tonight and to support my fellow colleagues. And uh, I think uh, I like it. And uh, um, it looks good and, and nicely arranged. And uh, I'll say a big thank you to all art lovers, like the owner of the place, uh, I can't add uh, the yeah. owner of the place who love art and want to promote our art to take it around the globe. And uh, I think I'm happy uh, to be here. And, uh, I wish uh, Nikomi all the success. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, whatever happened here today, which is magical to me, Nikon would like to say something and after he's done, he would like to explain two of his artworks. That is behind the mask and the pride of a mother. I mean these two paintings actually the ones, they are the ones that I can just let go of without listening to the explanation concerning those particular works. So I think Nikon is going to say something and after he explains the works to us. Yeah. Good evening. By the way, my name is not new for me, it's Artist Comi. Artist Comi. <laughs> Our apologies. Our apologies. Yeah. I'm very grateful for you guys all showing up. It means a lot. But this is my first solo activation. And you guys were here to support me. Much being said, I would like to start explaining my work okay, so sure. you get the feel of it. Please, let's listen to the explanation of this work actually. Give us 30 seconds of to check the music down so we can hear you. Yeah, the explanation, okay. Okay, go ahead. This work is titled Behind the Mask. As you see, somewhere behind the mask, you can see a couple of masses at the background. It simply explains you being yourself. I that uh, more people often feel comfortable hiding behind a mask that they create. But you being of yourself, genuine, it really helps you promote yourself. So this is the title behind the mask. Pride of a mother as well. Yeah. Okay. Pride of a mother. Mothers are precious to me. I don't know, but I have this connection with them that I just feel like they are 
they are really worth everything precious we need to give to them. They go, they go through a lot just to just um, bring us out to see the world. And they, they have this kind of bond with us that they are ready to go extra mile just to make us feel at home, comfortable, and be the future leaders we need to be. So the Kente behind, Kente is well known and it's very, it's priceless, like it's expensive among the clothes we have. So putting all together just to spice up the feeling matters are for us. So please, uh, can I mean that this actual work doesn't actually mean anything concerning unity, right? Never, never. So, someone also wants you to explain kind of the matter first. So when you're done with this, I'm done. Oh, yeah. yeah, with this, I have a personal attachment to it because my auntie delivered on her own. And wow. it's quite amazing. It's not normal to have something like this. So I decided to capture it. So people get to know that there are people that can be your pain. Okay. And deliver beautifully. Okay. Yeah, so that's how come we had a piece like this. Okay, so sir. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, the artists continue to show their work. Okay. And the only way I can convince Ruth and her partner to continue doing this is if we get patronage. Yeah. So what I'd like for you to do is when you get the chance, go on the social media platform, Instagram, Facebook, and like Native Bar, N-A-T-I-V-E-B-A-R and then ask your friends to like it as well. And then once in a while, pass by and bring them, bring you, thank you, bring your friends, that's right. Come by, bring your friends, and let them come in so that if more and more people appreciate this, what I would like to know, I've talked to me boy about this, I have this place in Laboni that I would love to, now my sister knows what I'm planning. <laughs> I would like to have it as an art studio so that when people finish exhibiting here, there can be a permanent place that you pick a few of your pieces that you want to sell to certain kinds of people. So that's what my thinking is. We tell people where you are, we show them, and then when this is all said and done, there's a place you can go to go and sell your stuff on a long-term, regular basis. So please, like, like the social media platforms, Ask your friends to like the place and stop by once in a while. Thank you. So, this is what we tell you every second Saturday of the month. And as time goes on, next month, my partner is going to come up. Then everybody's going to be the first people to get it. The next artist is going to be a Nigerian artist. And he's going to be here next second Saturday by this time. This is going to be very crazy as well. Actually, not only painting, they are trying to put things together to post poetry shows about this, and that's what going to That means that is not out. So it's going to also be once every second Thursday of a month here, which is going to be a poetry show. But they are now trying to put it together to make it happen like magic. So let's oh, you, see. you heard about it already. Yeah. It's in here. So let's see what happens. So that you keep patronizing it, native bar, black origin. Then Conrad, then give away those studios, which is me in collaboration with all my people in the studio, putting all these together to make it happen for you guys to come here, to come and look at the rest in the world. What we like to say is thank you so much. And after I'm done, composing by force.